So that's the fucking awesome sound of the Novation circuit, as I'm sure you can tell. Um, this is a really, really awesome synth. Uh, drum machine, beatbox, groove box. It's it's incredibly fully featured for what it is and for how much it costs. Um, but I'm sure you probably have heard all of that stuff already. Like this thing has been in the news a lot, in the synth news, um, just sort of because of all of the updates it's had. Um, and because it sounds really awesome, like it just sounds really rad. Um, it's all digital, but it doesn't matter. Like the synth engines, the Novation synth engines on, on board are really fat, really rich, really deep. You can do so much with them, especially with the um, editor, uh, the computer editor. Um, but also like the, the sampling capabilities on it are just phenomenal. Um, especially now that they've updated it so that you can do sample flip. Um, and also load your own samples in. Anyway, super powerful. So, I was just playing through some of these sessions here. So, as you already saw me play, <laughs> so I'm not going to keep doing it again. But these are some things I just made the other day, and uh, one of the new features of the update is being able to, on the, like, in the middle of a pattern any, anywhere, just flipping between sessions, um, which makes, for performance purposes, like, that's just really uh, incredible, actually. Like, there are other machines that can do it, like, you can do stuff like that, kind of, on the uh, Electron stuff, which, um, you know, I've done in my other videos, but um, but on this, with the, with the pads and uh, just the sort of fun nature of this this machine uh, I just think that for performance it's it's a real massive uh, addition to the software uh, which I really like so um, it just allows you to create really complex rhythms that all merge together really well so when you flip between them you get just so much variety um, and I'm always after variety uh, especially when I'm playing live so <clears throat> So those are some cool patterns. Um, after I did them, I went on to this one, and I made something a little bit different. I think this one kind of demonstrates some of the sample uh, possibilities with the new sample set, because I actually, when I updated this recently, I also loaded in the uh, the new Novation sound pack, which a whole bunch of new presets, but also a whole bunch of uh, new samples in the sample banks. So this is what this one sounds like. sample which is in there which I think is pretty cool um, if I go in here you can hear it but there are others you know. like I'm flipping between both of them that's the whole sample flip thing um, you've also got Like the sound design possibilities when you're loading your own samples in, I think, is really huge. Um, like you could put an entire piano roll of uh, stuff over here, like either individual piano sounds or uh, choral sounds, stuff which isn't even beat related at all, and you could do heaps of stuff with it. Um, <clears throat> get really detailed with that, and this could become like a glitchy, it's already pretty glitchy, but like an even glitchier, like ambient... Um, experimental machine like really simply by just adding your own samples into it because the synth engines are, in, are incredibly powerful but married to the uh, to the sample set and the sample engine I mean you know the world is pretty much your oyster you can do it kind of whatever you want um, 
but at the moment I've just got the the new sample pack, but I think it's a really awesome sample pack. I think it's look it out, look it out. Like you know, that's kind of lame, but like the things you can do with that, just that one sound, like look it out, look it out. It's just a some sort of snare now. any of these knob movements um, that I'm doing could be recorded in uh, to the pattern similar to like parameter locks on the electron stuff well, similar it's exactly the same concept um, it seems to be all the rage these days Korg are doing it on it like everything they do Novation seem to be doing it everybody seems to be copying electron um, although I'd be surprised if they were the first ones to do it as well so so now I've got all of these samples. Um, I could record them in live and get like a, a, a different sample for every single step. Just do that. And it would record it all in. Um, whereas before, you could only ever have one drum sound on each of the four drum tracks, which, you know, compared to what I just described, massively limiting. Um, Whereas now, yeah, like I say, you can just have, <clears throat> if you've got like a 32 step sequence, each of those steps could have an entirely different sample on it. Uh, so it gets really powerful. <clears throat> so the whole point of this video really is, in addition to just sort of showing you what I've been doing with it, like making some other sessions, um, which I did in the garden the other day, which was really nice because this thing's super portable. Uh, but I also <clears throat> created, just for the purposes of this video, um, a little sort of... Uh, a little session which I haven't actually put any data into yet other than I just edited some sounds on the editor on the computer. I was tr gonna try and incorporate that into the video but I couldn't figure out a way to record uh, my screen without the Max for Live plugin uh, just breaking basically. So I created these sounds. this one and this one's just a real simple bass sound like I did a little bit of filtering on it a little bit of drive um, and I've just like a, a square wave um, with a sine wave layered a sine wave one octave down layered it on the top so it's a pretty basic bass sound but this sound Um, it's a polyphonic sound, whereas the other one's monophonic, but also it uh, has two oscillators and they both have a certain amount of uh, wavetable action going on them, so different uh, waves on each of them and, the L and different LFOs affecting them, so there are different speeds, so you get this kind of washy... like an electric piano or an organ or something but uh anyway i thought it would just be a cool thing to start with i didn't actually do any macros on the knobs at all so this is going to be a really simple pattern i just kind of wanted to demonstrate mainly in a way what you can do with the samples um but i like these sounds so so i'm just gonna I'm just gonna start recording i'm just gonna make something real quick <clears throat> so bear with me
So there you go. Um, I think that's pretty cool actually, I might do something with that. Uh, but yeah, you can, like, in, in literally minutes, you can make something really incredible. Uh, not, like, super satisfied with these synth sounds, I'm probably going to add macros to them because, and, like, do some stuff with them because at the moment they're pretty static. But they did provide what I wanted, which was a bass, uh, like a bed for making some rhythms. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much this video. Um, I'm just going to play out using some other patterns that I made, or sessions that I made, uh, just recently. So, <clears throat> yeah, enjoy.